Hey guys, how's it going? Um, in this video, I quickly want to talk about how do you effectively, efficiently um, create, put your screens inside mockups. Now, this might seem a very simple thing, but when you're writing a case study and if you choose to put your screens inside a mockup and you might have to put a lot of screens inside mockups, so which might take a lot of time. So I'm going to show you a super fast way of doing this in less than a minute, um, maybe even less than 30 seconds, you can have one screen inside a mockup. Um, and uh, this is the process that I follow uh, and hopefully it helps. So the first thing you want to do is of course you need your screen and you need the mockup um, that's there. Um, the most important thing is to ensure that whatever screen size you're using, it has to match the respective mockup. If your screen size is designed for the iPhone 10, you need an iPhone 10 mockup. If it's for an Android phone, you need the respective um, Android mockup. Um, I'm using the iPhone 12 Pro, which is 390 by 844 pixels. Um, and this is an iPhone 12 Pro mockup that I got on Figma itself. So you need to ensure that you have the exact mockup uh, for that. Okay, so once you have this, what you wanna do is you wanna put this to the side. You wanna take this screen and duplicate it. Actually, what you want to do is just create the same, create a frame, which is the same size, which is 390 by 844, which is my case. You, if you're designing for the iPhone 10, you want to choose 375 um, um, uh, by 812 or whatever it is. Okay. And then what you want to do is you want to lock this. All right. And then you want to multiply this by three. Okay. So now you have this big fancy this big you know frame and then you want to duplicate your original one and then you want to sort of push it to the screen basically you want this whole thing to cover now uh, when you want to scale this you can come here and choose k which is the scale tool and then you can go ahead and then scale this up and it will perfectly fit okay and everything is neatly scaled uh, which is great um Okay, let me, I think I don't have the font here. Okay, so there's a, let me, give me a second. Um, I'm just gonna quickly change the font here because I was missing those fonts. Uh, okay, yeah. Uh, and now I'm going to select this again uh, and then scale this over here, okay? Once you do this, you wanna select this frame, which is this big frame. Uh, you wanna go on top, you'll find se settings and you can see object. Um, and then you want to choose rasterize selection. And once you rasterize selection, you will see that this now becomes an image. As you can see, it's an image. It's no more a frame. And then what you want to do is you want to right click, copy and choose co copy properties. Um, so you, you want to by heart the shortcut. So for me, it's command option C. Okay. And then you want to come over here click on the, the, you know, the image, right? The, 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 the thing that you have to replace and press um, the paste properties, right? And then that gets pasted over here, okay? Now, one question that you might ask is why did I scale it three times and why did I not scale it, you know, just replicate this itself? Uh, reason is because I can show you, I'm gonna duplicate this and let me make a duplicate of this. Okay, and then I'm going to object and choose rasterize selection. And then I'm going to copy that and then paste it over here. You can clearly see the difference that this is low resolution and this is high resolution. Um, the reason, and you can see that here as well, the moment I rasterized it, you can see it's all pixelated uh, because this is a low resolution, but this image is huge, which is why it's a high resolution image, right? And once you have that and you want to put it in whatever, you know, thing that you want, you can just um, drag that over here and uh, put it in. And then you can press K again to get the scale tool. And then you can scale things down and you have your mockup over here. And then you can do whatever you want, put in any text or anything. Um, so let's say you have multiple screens. You want to scale them again by this. And let's take another example. Let's say you have another screen. What you can do is you can duplicate this. You can press K. You don't have to make another rectangle. You can scale this and it's going to snap. Uh, okay, sometimes it does, sometimes it doesn't. So the best way is to create a duplicate of the empty frame and then put that inside, scale it, rasterize, 
copy properties, paste properties, and yeah. So if you if you decide that this is the size that's going to be there in your you know entire image, then you can paste it directly from here itself. So copy and then paste, right? It saves a lot of time, um, and that's pretty much it. So you can quickly make your mockups um, and export them for case study or any other purpose. Um, you can use it for anything. All right, that's pretty much it. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments of this video.